like to tell a story about STS-38, which was the first mission that I commanded and the first landing that I actually got to make uh, in Atlantis here at the Kennedy Space Center in 1990. And touchdown. Our plan was to land in California, but the weather had been bad. And after waving off one day, the next day, the weather was still bad in California, and we were diverted to land here at the Kennedy Space Center. When we were given a go to deorbit, the weather at the Kennedy Space Center was fine. But it was close to sunset, and in the hour and a half from the time that we were given a go to deorbit, the sun angle started getting lower. The thing that was complicated by that was that there was a controlled burn over uh, on the west side of the river, and as we got closer to landing, the smoke from that burn started drifting over the approach end of runway 33 here at the Kennedy Space Center. It wasn't too bad except for the sun angle started getting lower and all of a sudden that smoke layer, which is very close to the ground, became opaque. Well, we came over on our overhead turn, and it was a right turn into runway 33. My pilot was Frank Culbertson and I kept looking over at Frank and said, what do you see, Frank? You see the runway. And he says, no, I don't, it's just white down there, it's just smoke. And we kept coming around and kept coming around and finally as we rolled out on final, I could see what he was seeing, which was a complete layer no of smoke at the underneath us. With the south end of the runway obscured, I could see the north end of the runway, but not the south end of the runway. And the only thing I could see visually that helped me get to my landing were the precision approach position indicators, the pappy lights that were shining through the smoke. So we flew down, we're coming down on our approach, and that's all instruments. I'm, I'm centering up the needles, I'm flying on instruments. We start our pre-flare. Pre-flare underway, taking some of the steepness out of the uh, angle of descent to the runway. And as we come through about 1,500 feet, poof, we break out into the clear. Normal landing, great landing. And touchdown. And uh, we roll out. And then as we got off, I started thinking about the fact that I had just flown the first instrument approach in the space shuttle, unintended.